Hey guys, it's Andrew from the blog at Pine and Prospect Home, and today I want to talk about my roller shades that I have in my living room and in my dining room. So, believe it or not, <laughs> I did a post on my blog all about these roller shades five years ago now. 2017 was the year that I wrote about these shades, that's when we got them, and I think that is the number one most visited blog post that I have on my blog. Every time I share videos of my living room or my dining room, I always get questions about my shades, my roller shades, and um, where did I get them, and what color are they? And so I just thought <laughs> I would do a little video all about them, how we like them. It's a really sunny day, which is kind of perfect because it'll give you a good idea um, for how light filtering these particular shades are. So let me just start off by answering a couple of questions that I get all the time and I'm going to share the pros, the cons, my honest review, how we truly feel about them. I'm not getting paid to say any of this. Um, this is just my honest review. So I hope it helps you guys. Um, like I said, we've had them for five years now so I feel like um, that's a good enough amount of time to where I can give you, you know, truly tell you how they've held up I guess. So. First off, let me just share where I got them from. They came from Select Blinds, and I actually have it written down here because it's been so long I had to look it up. These are the Premier Woven Roller Shades um, in the color Camel. They're still available. Actually, I probably shouldn't say this because um, this video isn't going to go live for a couple of weeks, but I checked it out on the site and they're still available and they're actually on sale right now. Like I said, I'm not sure if they'll still be on sale by the time this video goes live. Um, but just thought I would throw that out there if you want to click the link in my description below and check them out. Um, I chose, of course, this roller shade option. They are cordless. I chose light filtering so you can see it's a very sunny day. If I close these blinds, you can see that they filter the light um, really beautifully. So if you're someone who really, like in a bedroom for example, if you really like blackout type um, blinds or shades, I would definitely not choose the light filtering option because um, it does block a lot of the light. Like you can see if I pull them down, um, it gets quite a bit darker in here, but it still filters some light through. So they've got different options available for you. Um, Again, this is not a paid promotion or anything, but one great thing about Select Blinds, just to throw a few things out there for you, because this is an investment, I will say that. Um, purchasing good blinds and shades for your home is definitely an investment, but one great thing about Select Blinds is that they offer a really nice warranty, so if something happens, I believe it's a two-year warranty. Another really great thing that I love about them is that they send samples in the mail, so um, if you're not sure before you want to make this huge purchase about the, you know, the type of fabric you're choosing or the type of color, always order samples and bring them in your home, put them on your wall, and that gives you a great idea um, before you have to commit to a certain type of fabric or, you know, color choice. So just thought I'd throw those things out there. I think I've already answered most of those common questions that I get about them. But I want to talk really quick about some of the pros, um, some of the things that we've loved about these. Like I said, probably the number one pro would be that they are cordless. And I've got little kids, we have four little boys, and cords really scare me. And so the fact that I don't have to deal with cords at all is just amazing. Um, I actually have select blinds in my sunroom too. I will put a link to that blog post in the description so you can check those out. It's a completely different style. I went with like a Roman shade style for in there, which I really love. Um, this is definitely more of a minimal feel happening um, in the living and dining room, but the Roman shade styles that I have in the sunroom, they are actually light blocking. And um, they're, like I said, they're the Roman shade style. And so I will put a link to that sunroom video if you wanna check it out and get, I share a lot about them in that post. So I won't talk about those today, but going back to my roller shades, um, definitely a pro is that they are cordless. Another pro that I have to share with you is that they have held up really great. Um, 
You know, we've had them for five years and we roll these things up and down every single day. I mean, we don't have curtains hung right now, but even when we had curtains, we would still like pull them down every night and pop them up every single morning. And you can see after five years, they still look really good. They're in great shape. On the edges here, I've noticed like, okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll, I'll post a little bit of a close up. There's maybe a little bit of fraying here on the side. Um, there's like a string that's come loose. So I'll try to record that for you guys, but really that's very minimal. Um, for five years, I think that they've held up really great. So um, just, I think that's good to know. Um, another pro is that they're very, this particular style, I guess I should say, they're very versatile. Like I have switched up my decor a lot in the past five years. I feel like um, when I, sometimes it drives me crazy that that blog post does so well on my blog because the photos are so old and my style has changed so much. And I laugh at some of the photos that are like pinned on Pinterest and they're sending the most traffic to my blog because my house and my living room especially does not look like that anymore. Um, but that's kind of a good thing, right? Like they're timeless. They go with any style. I know five years isn't a super long time, but with all the changes I've made in here, they've always looked great. And so I think that's another great thing to keep in mind. I do want to talk about a few cons really quick. There's really not a lot to be honest. Um, but the first one that I can think of is that, <laughs> and I will switch the camera here. Let me move the camera so I can show you. It'll be easier like this. And I'm sorry that it's so blown out. It's just such a bright day. And in order to um, brighten up my face, I have to bump up the ISO, but the background is pretty bright too here. So uh, maybe I can fix that for you guys here. Who cares about my face? The blinds are more important there. That's a little bit better. Okay, so <laughs> let's just straighten her out a little bit. Okay, so the one the one con is that these are not like Roman shades and that like my Roman shades in my sunroom when I go to pop them up for the for the day, they just stop at a certain point, right? Because they're like the Roman shade style. These, however, if I wanted to just like let go of them, they would go <laughs> all the way up as you can see. So I have to manually like if I want them to be at a certain length in the morning, I have to manually place them at that length. And sometimes it can be tricky getting, like if you have windows like I do, sometimes it can be tricky getting them to be at the same length. So um, in the morning, when I go to pop them up, so I come downstairs in the morning and I grab both blinds, that's what I usually do, and I just, so sometimes this is kind of what happens and I'm like, oh, hold on a second. Let's try to fix it. Oh, that's a little too high. Let's just, okay. Nope, that's a little, <laughs> so you can see what I'm saying. It's like pretty, pretty level. Okay, but if you're like a perfectionist OCD person, these might drive you a little bit crazy. Now, this isn't exactly straight, but it's close enough for me. So I just, I wanted to share that. I know some of you are probably laughing, like who cares if your shades are completely level, but it's something to keep in mind. If you, if that kind of thing really drives you crazy, <laughs> you should know that you're gonna have to manually adjust them so that they match each other. Um, the only other con really that I can think of is that these brackets show on the Rowan shades. So once again, and I'll do some close-ups for you guys so you can see them. But you can see these white brackets here. Um, they are exposed and with the ro with the um, with the roller shade style, you can actually purchase Select Blinds will provide you with a bracket that hides these and I did I I opted out of that. I think that they're pretty um, I don't think they're super noticeable. I think that they, I don't think they're obtrusive by any means, but if you really don't want that to show, um, you might be better off with like a Roman shade style instead of the roller shades. So those are really the only cons that I can think of for these shades. They're really a beautiful option. I've really been happy with them. Truth be told, this is my honest review. I've really been happy with them. I think that the color is really pretty. I think that the style is really timeless. So hopefully I've answered all of your questions about these particular shades. 
Um, again, I have them in my living room and my dining room, and I am going to write a blog post that goes uh, that goes along with this video with links so that you can get to this exact style. I hope that this post was able to kind of answer all of those questions that I literally get daily. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know today's video wasn't the most exciting content in the world, but I really hope that it was a help to you guys. If you have any other questions or comments, will you please leave them in uh, the comments below and I will try to get to them and maybe sort of update the post as we see new questions come in. But. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.